What is your name and what's your role in the robotics team this season? Yeah, I am Maya Schroeder. Currently, I'm the club president. My name is Josh McCose. I'm leading the electrical uh, team. I'm Clifton Tyler Twilliger, but I prefer to go by Tyler. Uh, and I'm leading the programming team this year. I am Ashton, and I am leading the, the volunteer in its outreach. I'm not sure if that's called. <laughs> <laughs> so my name is Micah Sheldon, and I am currently uh, leading uh, with Devin the mechanical robot design. I'm Devin Higgins, I'm, the mechan I'm part of the mechanical team. Sort of an icebreaker question, I guess. Uh -huh. Do you think there are more doors or wheels in the world? Uh, I would definitely say wheels. <laughs> I'm almost certain of that one. <laughs> I'd say wheels because you need at least four of them for everything. <laughs> wheels because a door is fundamentally basically a wheel. I'm going to go with the doors because most transportation things have wheels, but they also have a similar amount of doors. And then doors are also on like houses and stuff, so that just like raises like, the count. If you had to choose, what would be your final meal? <laughs> Probably Panda Express. <laughs> Mongolian moose. I really like sushi. Hamburgers. I'd go for burgers and pizza. That's kind of what I like. <laughs> macaroni and cheese. Baked macaroni and cheese. Not that craft shit. I'm talking about like real mac and cheese, dude. I'd dump a ton of cheese in that too. Like, I make this roux. Uh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> baked mac and cheese. Homemade. Any specific goals for the team you'd like to accomplish this season? Uh, this season, I, I really would like us to really come together as a team because I know in the past, COVID has really rocked this team, the school, and really build that community again, build, uh, build basically a name for ourselves again, and put UAA in a place where they can be recognized for the robotics club because they have such a great engineering program and that they provide here and really want to aid and support that with uh, with the club so well I'd like to push the team but at the same time I don't want to stress out my team but I would just kind of like to do enough with the programming where it makes it easier on everyone and it all works fluidly together and hopefully score most of our points during the automation phase all I'd like to see in this, with this, uh, this team is more communication between the disciplines just to ensure that we don't have any uh, electrical malfunctions or any uh, like mechanical malfunctions that could have been prevented due to just miscommunication and in the design process. Well, I think I want to, at the end of the season, once we have a robot and um, have competed in competition, is to present that to the community and be able to bring people who are not part of robotics to experience what we got to experience. So my hope is to set up some sort of event where we can um, show our community what we did and how we did it, and uh, hopefully that will encourage more people to join robotics. I think just inclusion, make everybody, making everybody feel like they're doing something bigger than themselves. And maybe when we, we compete in the VEXU tournament, um, people can look at the robot and be like, I helped figure that out. Cool. Well, the, the first one, of course, is to get to Worlds. Um, we're, we're getting there if, if, if we're on my watch. Um, I, I think if we do what we're doing and we continue doing what we're doing, I think we have a chance of getting there. And I'll, I'll keep working at it, so that's my big goal.